In this video, we're going to look at the benefits as well as how to apply Studio 5000 Logics Designer extended tag properties within a Factory Talk View Machine Edition application. This video contains information that is included in the hands on lab entitled Machine Level HMI, including 21 CFR Part 11 with Factory Talk View Machine Edition Advanced Lab, available on the Rockwell Automation on Course platform. Talk with your local Rockwell Automation representative if you desire to learn more about Factory Talk View Machine Edition and its powerful capabilities. Control Logic's extended tag property values are attributes of a tag contained within a Logix controller that can easily be displayed on HMI screens, whether you are using Factory Talk View Machine Edition or Factory Talk View Site Edition. Support for extended tag properties began with Factory Talk View Machine Edition version 9.0. Within a Factory Talk View Machine Edition application, tags can be assigned to specific extended tag properties in the controller. Extended property values can be modified in the controller and the running Machine Edition application is automatically updated. There is no need to rebuild the runtime application, thus saving time during development. The benefits of using extended tag properties are that no additional HMI or controller tags are needed to display or manage these values. For example, to show a min-max value for a tag, you can simply access those properties. Min-max values are pulled directly from the controller and displayed in the HMI. Also, extended tag properties utilize on-change based communications, which means that data is only sent to the HMI on a change to minimize the communication load versus a normal tag that is continuously being pulled. This powerful capability also increases application development productivity by enabling more efficient use of parameterized reusable faceplates and global objects. Lastly, extended tag properties support runtime language switching, where translated text is stored in the controller and displayed based on the language chosen in the HMI. To get started with understanding extended tag properties, let's see them in action. Later in this video, we'll go behind the scenes in Factory Talk View Studio and see how the capabilities were configured. At the top of this Factory Talk View Machine Edition display, we're showing description and engineering units. Near the middle of the display, we are showing min-max values assigned to tags in the controller. Note that this application also contains language switching, which we will access from a pop-up display. Let's start by changing the runtime language to Spanish by selecting the flag for Mexico. Note that the description has changed from English to Spanish, as well as the engineering units have changed from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Also take note that the multi-state push button changes its description to suit the selected language. As we cycle through the languages, note how the objects on the display change depending on which language we select. All of these language changes in the HMI are pulling the appropriate values from the controller, not from the Machine Edition application. Finally, we will return to English and close the pop-up display. With our application still running, let's take a look in Studio 5000 Logic Designer at our cookie quantity tag and examine the extended properties. You can see that the min-max have been configured for this tag. Let's go ahead and change the max value from 999 to 600. Keep in mind that we are not changing the value of the cookie quantity tag, we are changing the value assigned to one of the tag's extended properties. Returning to the Factory Talk View Machine Edition runtime, we can see that the max value associated with the cookie quantity has been updated to 600. In this application, we also have a multi-state push button. Clicking the button a few times, we notice that the cookie type changes from hard to soft or vice versa, depending on the state. Let's take a look at Studio 5000 Logics Designer and see how the tag assigned to the multi-state push button has been configured for extended properties. When we highlight the controller tag assigned to the multi-state push button, we can see that both state 0 and state 1 have been configured. Down below, we can see that state 0 has been configured as hard and state 1 has been configured as soft, referring to the two types of cookies we can have in production. Let's go behind the scenes with Factory Talk View Studio and see how we were able to take advantage of some of the extended tag property features. 
Those familiar with Factory Dog View Studio may notice that version 12 includes a modern look and feel, as well as some usability enhancements. We will use language switching as the example of how to configure Factory Dog View Studio to take advantage of extended tag properties. We will navigate to the Tools menu and select Languages to open the Language Configuration dialog as the first step. Note that we have configured five languages for this Machine Edition application. Those are the languages we saw during the demonstration. It is essential that you add all desired languages to the application within Factory Talk View Studio in order to be able to access the languages configured in the controller. Note that with extended tag properties, we no longer have to perform any language translation in Factory Talk View Studio, saving you time during the application development process. We will open Display 07 Miscellaneous, the display we viewed during the demonstration, and investigate further into how we can configure extended tag properties. Let's investigate one of the description fields to see how the connection to the extended tag properties in the controller was configured. Before we go any further, a key point we need to understand is that all of the extended tag properties we are accessing, be it min, max, engineering unit, description, or others, are not browsable in Factory Talk View Studio. Once a tag has been found using the Factory Talk Tag Browser, the tag address must be manually edited to include the correct dot at extension for the desired extended tag property. Notice the dot at description at the end of the tag. This is the correct syntax required when accessing extended tag properties. In this example, the string variable will display the text defined in the controller for the at description extended tag property. Now let's take a quick look at the process used to incorporate different languages into Studio 5000 Logic Designer in order to perform language switching using extended tag properties. Under the Tools menu in Studio 5000 Logic Designer, select the Documentation Languages option. This option provides the ability to localize the controller file. The first step in the process is to associate existing project documentation to a language. Next. A default language for the controller must be defined. This is the language that will be used when no translated text is specified for a specific language. At this point, the languages are then selected for localization. These must match the languages configured within the Factory Doc View Machine Edition application. Next, the content of the language export file is specified. And finally, the name and location of the language export file is specified. Once everything is configured, you can click Export and the process will begin. Note that the exported file is compatible with Microsoft Excel for easy editing. Let's examine the extended properties export. The items shown at the top are the English text for the objects that are shown on the 07 miscellaneous display in Factory Talk View Machine Edition. Below is the translated text for those same objects. Each translation is entered under the appropriate language code header. Once the translations are complete, the text file is imported back into the Studio 5000 Logics Designer file. The file is then downloaded to the Logics processor to complete the process. Thank you for watching this video.